all the fruit, the leaves, everything is in there. What that seed needs is the right environment and it's going to blossom. We are like that. We all have gifts. God has already gifted us so we can bring solution to the table. Now, when you bring the solution, you're going to get a reward. And that reward is going to be money because you are meeting the needs of people. Joseph gave a very simple solution. You're going to have a years of increase, build what? Bands, and put the excess in there. How difficult is that? How difficult is that? Now, when you look around all the other solutions that people are bringing to the marketplace as we speak, they are not complicated. You don't need an MBA. You know, if, if the MBA will work for you, 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 you these guys let me finish school and drop out of school, most of them, right? So we need to be looking around. What is my solution? When you work during the day, you come back in the evening, instead of telling myself, oh, I had a long day at work. Man, I just, I'm making, I'm making, a, a, you convert your money to Naira, like, man, I, I'm a billionaire. You are not. You are not. You've not started. You are in America. You need to count your money in dollars, not in Naira. You are in America. You need to count your money in dollars, not in Naira. You are not. When you come back, you need to start working on those gifts that God has placed in you. And when the gifts overtake that job, you quit. And go do work, or else you'll never be happy, you'll never be contented. I know we will go there, but like, I don't know when it's going to end. I'm bringing you a solution right now. It's going to end when that thing that God has given you, that little seed, start pouring water into it. You're reading in that area. I'm in the area writing and speaking. And that is why I spend my money on I buy books all the time. I read, I read, I read, I read, I read. So what is our own area? It's just a little spark. Joseph did not start by interpreting dreams for Pharaoh. He interpreted dreams at a lower level with his brothers. He, but he stuck with the dream stuff. He got better and better over time. What are you working on? What is it that God has deposited? You know, because it is not deep complicated. You know that thing that if when you're a little child, by the way, there are steps in the book on how to figure that out. You know those things that you do when a little child? Then he said, I was going to do this, I was going to be this. And then you grew up and you got distracted by money. Now you are pursuing the money, the money is not coming. So you need to go back to those little beginnings and start watering those things. When you come back from your job, start watering them. Instead of watching TV, turn off the TV, you are watching people who have already made it. You need to make it. When you make it, you can watch all the TV you want. This is not time to waste time on other people who have already made it, right? So when you come back, Connect with your family and start working on your dream. Then eventually, God is going to bring you the increase and multiplication that you need. Beware of shortcuts. Beware of um, somebody showing up and telling you, I'm just going to wave my hand and everything is going to happen. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. There's no shortcut. I never see a tree that just appeared. You start with a seed, you plant it, you water it, it goes through the process. The other day I, was, I saw a, a, a video clip of trees in a, a, in a glass house that collapsed because the trees were not exposed to the wind to blow them with the grain so that they develop root. There is a reason why we go through adversities. There is a reason why we go through the process so that God can anchor us to handle the blessings that God is bringing into our lives. Praise the Lord. So be ready to go through the process. Be ready. I used to wait for inspiration to, to write. I never wrote for years. Then I realized that inspiration is in my behind. I need to sit on the computer and inspiration is always waiting for me. Each time I show up, it's like, yeah, let's do it. So you need commitment, you need dedication. I wish you had more time to get into all this, but uh, as I said, this is a resource. I prayed for this. God gave me for you people. This book alone is not enough. It's the beginning. You've got to start reading in the area that God has called you. It's got, uh, there's a very good book in here 
The book is saying that why you cannot be anything that you want to be. We've been taught a lie. The other lie is, oh, because there's money in this field, I can just become a lawyer. No. We've been gifted differently. You need to know your gift and pursue it. Praise the Lord. I'm going to stop talking. Because I can go on for, for, forever. Uh, when am I supposed to start? Okay. So, that is the message I brought for, for the church this morning. And I'm 100%, 100% convinced that there's somebody in here this morning that needed to listen to this. It is not about the numbers. That doesn't move me. It's about a person that all this energy and effort has been put into for them. Please, we are called to walk by faith and not by fear. Let's stop allowing fear to motivate us. You are going to be fine. Amen. Yeah, you cannot get yourself anchored in a position and you are breaking God's laws because you don't like the job and you, you just have to do it. You can never excel because you, you are not putting in your own. It, it's just like that. Yeah, you need to be in a position where you are willing to die because it is coming from the inside of you. That is when you do like that, nothing can stop you. Doors will open, you're going to go places. Resources will come from every direction for you. Please, we've been told a lie. We've been told a lie. Money is not what we are for. We are for kingdom. We we'll position ourselves with, with, with God's uh, with, 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 with God's divine agenda, and all these things just come. They will come. They will come. Do you think I will write uh, 30, 50, and 100 books, and one of them is not going to make me a millionaire? It is going to happen. Amen. I will never have made that working for somebody. Your season will come. Amen. You will know. Amen. You will step out Amen. and experience an increase. Amen. I'm saying that because. We are giving you the resources to start positioning yourself for that time to walk into that increase. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord.